Hello booktube. This is um, something that I've been wanting to do for uh, quite a while now. Um, I've been lurking around on booktube, one of those people that just lurk and watch. Occasionally I'd comment, um, I've got a whole list of people that I subscribe to as probably most of you have, but I wanted to get involved a little bit more, I wanted to do my own channel and I was saying to a few people, yeah I was, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about doing a channel and they're saying, yeah just do it, you know just go and do it and um, I didn't know whether I had anything to anything different to offer um, uh, and I'm still not sure but we'll see how it goes. So this is the start of uh, a new channel. My name's Dave, this is Wild Reads. This is a booktube newbie tag. Roll the title. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Um, so, as I said in the start, this is a booktube newbie tag, um, and this is something that I've been wanting to do for ages and ages and ages, but um, I, for one reason or another, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So, um, so we're doing it now. So let's crack it. And I'm not sure the politics of these. I'm not sure how this booktube thing, tag thing works. So, if I've jumped the gun, then tell me in the comments thing below. So I'm not going to drone on and on and on about this booktube newbie tag thing, but I'm not sure if you have to be tagged or or you can just, because there is no one to tag me because this is a new channel. So I'm just going to jump in and do this. So this is the Wild Reads booktube newbie tag. Question one. I don't know how to do the, the words thing on the screen, so I'm just going to read it. Question one. Why did you start this channel? Okay, I started this channel because I've been watching booktube for um, a couple of years now. Been watching it for a couple of years and I am I wanted to join the conversation. I wanted to join the booktube community as someone with a voice on booktube. Um, so um, that's why I started really. I think um, yeah, I think I might do things a little bit differently. Um, not, not. I mean differently, not controversially. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see where it takes us. That's, yeah. So, uh, question two: What are the what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to BookTube? Not sure about fun. I'll let you decide that for yourselves. If you think the video is fun, I'd like to bring a bit of energy um, to the videos. Um, because uh, I, you know, the, the booktubers that I watch at the moment are quite, they're obviously really, some of them are quite intense and some of them are, are, more, are more fun and jovial and um, yeah, so I'd like to get a, a mixture of the two really. Um, a booktube, so this might be a good idea to, this might be a good chance to mention some of the other channels that have inspired me to do this channel. So. Um, who do I watch a lot of on booktube? I watch uh, a hell of a lot of um, Simon at Savage Reads. Um, who doesn't? Um, and before I used to, before I watched him on booktube, I followed Simon's blog, um, also Savage Reads, linked down below, um, for about seven, eight years, probably. I think it's about that long. And and I've I've seriously lost count of the amount of books and authors that would have just passed me by had it not been for um, Simon talking about them or writing about them or podcasting about them. Um, so thank you Simon for that because some of my favourite authors I look back and, and you think how did I, how did I, oh yeah it's another, it's another Savage Reads recommendation. So um, so yeah thank you Simon for that um, and he's brilliant on booktube. And some of the other people that I like, Lauren from Lauren and the Books, um, she brings a great energy to it. Her, her, her videos are so upbeat. Um, and yeah, she, she brings a real energy and a real sort of enthusiasm to it. Um, who, who else do I watch a lot of? Mercy, uh, Mercedes, Mercy's Bookish Musings. Um, she's really good, like quite you know, fiercely intelligent, um, always a good um, review reviewer. Uh, so she's really good. Sophie, 
think it's Sophie from Portal in the Pages, are we? Steve Donahue over in the States in Boston. Um, he's another, he's another, um, he gets a good balance actually. He's quite fun, um, but seriously fun at the same time, which is nice. That's what, you know, that's what I hope to bring to book two, but we'll see, we'll see where it goes. You know, I've gone off on a massive tangent there, so I've forgotten where I am. What are you most excited about this new channel? Question three. Um, most excited about talking about books a lot, really, because I don't think there's anything better. Sometimes this and this relates to um, question one a little bit as well. Why did you start this channel? Because even though my other half, Vicky, she reads a lot, and she's on about 35, 36 books for the year, um, which is really good because she does a lot of crafts as well. Um, so I've, got, I've just got to sort this monitor. Right, okay. Um, monitor sorted. Um, so, what are you most excited about for the new channel? Just yeah, meeting other booktubers, um, talking about talking about the books that I love to read. Um, why do you love reading? Oh God. Why do you love reading? Question four. Um, it's like breathing. It's as natural to me as breathing. I've done it from a very early age. Um, yeah, just yeah. You, you could you could do a video. In fact, we could do a new. Why do you love reading? Tag, because you could do a video all on its own. That's why you love reading. Tonight's dinner is really repeating on me. I'm sorry, BookTube. I do apologise. Um, what book or series got you into reading? Um, I'm 44 years old, so I'm very much of the Enid Blyton generation, as are millions of other people my age, and, and probably older and younger. Um, but yeah, very much the Enid Blyton generation. It, the, you know, books were fantastic. The Adventure, the, um, you know, the brilliant Secret Seven, Famous Five, Enid Blyton. Absolutely fantastic. I love Danny Brown. Um, what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? This is question six. Um, what question? How to get the balance right? How to get? Because some of the booktubers, uh, like the people that I mentioned, like Simon, Sophie, Lauren, Mercedes, Steve, they all seem to read an extravagant amount of books, a huge amount of books every month. And on a good month, I probably read eight or nine in a good month. Um, but they seem to read an enormous amount of books. And I don't know where they get the time because you know they they've probably got they've got other things. You've got life to deal with in general. You've got um, you've got uh, relationships. You've got work. You've got booktube. You've got filming, you've got editing, you've got read. How do you just cram it all in? And is it scheduled or is it off the cuff? Or so yeah, I would ask my favourite booktubers probably about the more technical aspects of it, um, and uh, how do you edit these things? Which I haven't. This might go out un un unedited. It might do. I might learn in between now and it going up. I might um, learn how to edit it. Question seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Apart from the, the time balancing thing, probably the, the editing thing. Um, I know how to get it on YouTube. I don't know how to do any of the technical stuff. I'd like to have book covers appear on the screen here or here, but that's not gonna happen yet because I don't know how to do it. But I'll get there. I might just, I was dancing on YouTube there, don't worry. That won't happen very often. Um, when did you start reading? Very young, six, seven, even younger probably. I was always encouraged to read from an early age, newspapers, anything. Just read. Cornflake boxes, anything. Malteser wrappers, just read. Just read everything. Um, so I did. Uh, where do you read? This is question nine. Where do you read? Usually in this chair. I've got one of these, and you see you see a lot of these chairs on BookTube. Um, the old faithful IKEA reading chair, designed 
1950 sometime in the 1950s so usually in this chair or there's another reading chair downstairs um, I'm not a great reader in bed um, and I don't read in the bath as a lot of people do mainly because I don't bath that's not to say that I'm filthy <laughs> I shower and not bath and books and showers not a good mix unless you've got one of those rubber books you've got those rubber books that the kids read very young children read rubber books they're good in the shower you can still read those but they're not very long and you'd end up reading the same book all week unless you had lots of them so um, mainly just in this chair I just read in this chair and the chair downstairs and if it's a nice day which at the moment it isn't because the summer seems to have deserted us in England um, so yeah what kind of books do you read? Um, I hope I haven't skipped any questions here. Well, I don't think I've skipped any questions. So what kind of books do you read? Um, I like literature. Um, <laughs> literature. <laughs> he likes literature. That's why he's on BookTube. Yeah. Um, I like literary fiction. Um, I like, but literary fiction, so long as it's not um, pretentious or overly highbrow, I'm not a real highbrow reader. Um, um, I'm, I'm just not but I love um, books that are beautifully written that's why I like literary fiction you know the sort of people that the sort of authors that can um, paint with words um, you know which is, is really good um, I'm talking Essex Serpent kind of books um, that kind of writing really appeals to me um, uh, thrillers psychological thrillers are like um, Erin Kelly type stuff yeah that I like um, there's been a real good list of um, sort of debut psych thrillers this year um, which I'll go into at a later video um, so yeah what do I like to read uh, a little bit of biography a little bit of non-fiction sometimes but mainly fiction I don't always read um, the 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 overly massively hyped books um, but yeah I think that's it I think I think that is it we've gone on for 11 and a half minutes now um, which I think is more than adequate for a booktube newbie tag um, so thank you for watching booktube um, if you'd like to comment below then feel free and I will answer um, thank you for watching thank you for your patience um, it's this little journey we're going on a little journey we're going on a booktube journey I'd like you to come on that journey with me. Um, God, that sounds pretentious. No. Yes. Come with me. Um, and we'll have some fun along the way. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next video. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about. But leave that to me. I'll do a bit of thinking what I want to do the next video on if you promise that you'll come and watch it. So thank you for watching. This is uh, Fun Dave. This is Wild Reads. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.